The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great, the greatest. Get it? The Queen has arrived. Behold Her Majesty. And introducing the challenger from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. She is a game changer, a trailblazer, and perhaps the greatest woman to ever set foot in a WWE ring. And with all of Charlotte's accomplishments, some say she's already a living legend. She's had rivalries with Lynch and Rousey and revolutionized the industry. When your last name is Flair, competing is like breathing. And the queen has built an empire. No false bravado, always personal, always physical. Yeah, and always maintaining supreme confidence and savage ferocity. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. to see a fight courtesy of the Empress of Tomorrow. The pageantry before the punishment. And introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Asuka! It always seems the higher the stakes, the more powerful the Empress becomes. Asuka is always on point. She can shut your lights out in the blink of an eye. And you've always got to be wary of the poison mist. Think of all the memorable clashes against Bayley, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch, just to name a few. Was invincible in NXT, every bit as dominant on Raw and SmackDown. If you look deep into the eyes of Asuka, you can almost see your demise. Already a first ballot Hall of Fame career, but her accolades keep on growing. is on the line. And this one has been highly anticipated. Championship up for grabs in this match under triple threat rules with Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, and Asuka. 
You always have to keep your head on a swivel in a triple threat match. But when a title's on the line, you really need to be on. Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper breaking it up at the last second. Oh, look at this. Infinite scoop slam. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And Belair gets beat to the punch. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Like this, Corey, what is something our competitors need to remember? Well, a major difference in a triple threat is that you can lose a match without being part of the decision. A victory can be stolen from your hands in an instant. And that's why in this match, a competitor must be cunning, calculated, and move with silent speed. But as dangerous as she is, that kendo stick just made her even more so. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh, look at the double team here. Uh oh it's always good to find a partner in a situation like this, but that can quickly sour. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Pushed into the corner. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. Returning to the ring now. Great way to break your opponent's arm. Hey. Belair now trying to capitalize. <laughs> about dismantling your opponent. Oh, what a kick! Uh-oh. Face for a turnbuckle. Oh. Face buster. Ooh, just ate that kick to the face. Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power side slam. Big elbow. Here's a pin for the title. And the champ only gets a count of one. So resilient. Bianca Belair just goading her opponent. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Close line. Ouch. The champ taking their share of hits now.
Ah, uh, Charlotte, so impressive, so powerful. Back, back stutter. Charlotte turning the tide to her favor. This has to be a bit demoralizing for the Empress. Kendo stick to the score. She's into the ring again. Bianca gets rescinded right back. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Face first with a waistlock takedown. I think it was fairly apparent early.